Hello friends, I'm Smita Katti and welcome to another Smiling Colors video. In today's video I'll be talking about blended lettering with Tombows. Today I'm going to show you three different methods so let's get started. The first method today is blending with water. I do this technique all the time and this is something that gives great results. You don't have to be a watercolorist at all for this. I started here by lettering the word happy with a yellow color. You want to choose two contrasting colors for this method and I'm choosing a yellow and a red. With the darker color, color in just the bottom maybe one sixth of the letters. Once you have the color there, you want to start blending everything with a paintbrush dipped in water. And I first paint over the light color area, that is the yellow here. And then you want to slowly paint over the darker color. And just let the water from the yellow and the red kind of meet and blend by themselves. Try not to overwork it. It'll just turn into a muddy color if you go over it a couple of times. And just let the water do the blending softly. This always gives me great results. I've shown really contrasting colors here today, but you can do this with any type of colors. Like a pink and a purple would look absolutely beautiful. But for the video's sake, I chose something that's really vibrant so you could see it in action. You just need a little bit of the darker color. If you add too much, what happens is when you blend the colors, the darker color will dominate and color everything. Okay, the second method is indirect blending. This time I'm using a Ziploc bag from my kitchen to blend my colors. What you want to do is scribble your darker color onto the Ziploc bag. Then with the lighter color pen, pick up that color and letter your word. You will create a blended mix of colors very easily now. Now you can also use the colorless blender pen, that's the N00 pen which comes in each pack. You can pick color off the Ziploc bag and this creates softer versions of the bright palette. So basically this hello and the flowers, I did the whole thing We're using just two colors. But you get so many different hues and variation by doing this method. You can use the blending palette for this too. You can also use acrylic stamp blocks for this, wax paper, palette paper. There are a lot of things you can reach for. This does not harm your pens at all. You want to remember that. Those tips will go right back to the original color as long as you scribble off the darker color onto a scrap paper before putting the marker away. Now onto the third method. This is the direct blending method. I've used two vibrant colors here again today, a yellow and a blue, and I'm touching the tips together to transfer the color. And now I'm going to letter using the yellow marker and you'll see that I get notes of blue and yellow mixing to form green. But here is also a trick that you need to know. The blue pen also gets a bit of the yellow color transferred onto it. You'll have a nice aqua teal like shade instead of just blue. So the color transfer works both ways and that is really fun. So the lettering I did here today doesn't look like a simple blue and yellow. Instead we have these greens and teals mixed in there. Just make sure that you scribble off the mixed new color onto a scrap piece of paper. Every time you do this make sure you scribble the marker before putting it away and that way you won't be surprised the next time you reach for that pen. So these are my three tips on how to achieve a blended look with your Tombows. All of the jewel brush pens I'm using today comes from this bright set. Lettering with just one marker is beautiful but when you mix and match colors and do your lettering, it just adds so much more interest to it. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll come back and watch more videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also like and comment on this video so that I know that you like this kind of videos and I'll make sure I'll make more of these in the future. Till I see you next time, happy lettering!